Hi there, I'm Jacobo with Highview Solutions, a Google Cloud Premier Partner. We work with companies using Google Cloud applications to provide licenses, technical services, support, and training. If you are currently using Google Apps at your company or are interested in making the move, please visit our website at highviewsolutions.com for more information. And take a look at our other videos in this channel. In today's video, we're going to be talking about security sandbox and security rules, how to set them up in Google Workspace. So let's move into the admin console. All right, so once in the admin console, we can find the security sandbox under apps. And next, we're going to click on Google Workspace. This is under the general uh, Gmail settings, so you can just click on Gmail. That's going to take you to all Gmail settings and scroll down. We're going to find spam phishing and malware in spam phishing and malware then you have just the same uh, org structure so you can apply these settings on different organizational units so in our case we have already turned on this for accounting so we can see security sandbox is on for accounting meaning all inbound traffic is being scanned for malware ransomware and zero day threats so those are being removed and uh, enabling this actually causes a uh, delay of up to three minutes so you have to keep that in mind if you don't want to affect um, any email delivery you might just want to use security sandbox rules and uh, there's a warning for this right here so you can see that enabling this setting overrides security sandbox rules so you cannot use both at the same time you have to choose uh, which one you're going to use so for selective scans you have to use security sandbox rules and turn security sandbox off for that org so we'll take a look just to, at a separate organizational unit and here we are so this is off and then we can go ahead and just create a security sandbox rule now this is going to be just the same uh, look of a content compliance so you have um, email messages to affect, you can select inbound, internal, receiving, and then step number two is any of the following match the message or all of the following match the message if you have more than one expression to match, right? And then add the expression. So um, same as all content compliance rules, you can have simple content match, advanced content match, metadata match. So if you want to target message authentication, IP source, message size, as my encryption, and so on. Um, you could do that. Predefined content match. So if there's anything that matches the DLP or Gmail data loss prevention, you can do that as well. All right. And as soon as you've added the expressions, then the following is just the uh, action to take. In this case, it's just a single one, so you already have that selected. Run security sandbox for any messages that match the expressions above. Now, you also have additional uh, options for that. So address lists, which is section A. You can use address lists to bypass or control the application of this setting. So we could potentially just bypass the setting for specific addresses or domains from the lists that we have already created for other content compliance rules. So clicking on use existing list will give you that pop-up window. And this one has two addresses or domains. We can choose that, exit out, and you see the uh, list is already populated. If you don't need it, or if you have another one that you've added, then you can simply click on don't use. And um, B, section B, so account types to affect. You can target users specifically. And envelope filter. So you could potentially target only envelope senders, specific email addresses, uh, single email addresses, pattern match. That would be a regular expression. Uh, if you're not familiar with that, you can click on learn more and uh, take a look at that uh, article. And uh, also, group membership. This is only for sent email. Now only affect specific envelope recipients. So same behavior, single email address, pattern match, 
and group membership only. Uh, this is for uh, received email only. And that's it. You click save and you are only going to affect any messages that match the expressions you've specified. Meaning you're not going to have really a huge impact in message delivery delays because you're not scanning all incoming messages. So that's how you use security sandbox rules. Now security sandbox rules will actually scan Microsoft executable files, Microsoft Office, and PDF files as well. Um, something else you have to keep in mind is that if you already have a pre-delivery rule set like content compliance that are either rejecting messages or uh, attachment compliance rules that are rejecting messages as well based on attachment uh, types, you are not going to get those messages scanned because they are being rejected pre-delivery. All right. Now that is as far as security sandbox and security sandbox rules behavior. And next you can take a look at the security section where there's going to be a uh, report for spam filter malware specifically. So we can scroll down and find spam filter malware. Ours doesn't have any, any reporting. So, but if you have already, um, turn that on, you can take a look at this if there have been any incidents yet. And last is going to reporting. So if you want to see what has been done maybe by other administrators in terms of uh, security, all actions are logged in the audit log. So you have um, security uh, application setting change here. Gmail and you see attachment deep scanning settings throttle, deep scanning enabled. So you can make sure that this has not been uh, modified by anybody else and making sure that your accounts are safe and being scanned. All right, that's it for today's video. Uh, stay tuned for more videos.